Welcome to Routing Your Content. Let's look at how we can organize our content and reference it inside of Touch Designer. To get started here, I'm going to double click on the network and add a movie file in top. I'm going to copy and paste this a couple times using Control C, Control V, or Command C, Command V if you are on a Mac. And let's change this second movie file in to be the smiley tiff and the third movie file in to be our starfish tiff. What we want to do is be able to switch between these three elements and then route them in our network. We can do that by adding a switch top. This switch top here is a multi input operator and it will let us switch between these inputs. So let's go ahead, shift box, select these three movie file ins, and then drag the output of one to the input of the switch. Now we can see that they are all three connected here. If we click on our switch, we can look at the two key parameters. The first is the index. The index starts with zero and is a slider and lets you switch between the inputs. One important thing to note here, if you're trying to get to your first input, you need to select zero or navigate to zero. And that's because this parameter uses zero based indexing. The next parameter you'll have here is the blend between inputs. If we toggle that on, we'll see that we can actually blend between all of our inputs. An important thing to note here is that if you are trying to go from your starfish to your banana, you will have to blend between the smiley as the switch top does blend between all of the inputs in the order that they're in. However, a way to get around that is by adding this banana back to the end of our switch, and then you can go from the starfish to the banana. Let's collapse this switcher that we've made here to see how we can then route it in our network. I'm going to again box select by shifting and dragging, and then I'm going to right click on the network and collapse selected. Now we've collapsed that network here in this space. We're going to double click on our network again and add a select top. This select top will allow us to reference a top from any other location inside of touch designer. So in order to see this, I'm going to navigate to the pane layout here in the top left and split the panes left and right. On the right side, I want to look at my select and then on the left side, I'm going to dive into this base. Great. We can then select our switch and drag it onto the top parameter of our select. And then we can see that here on the right hand side, we see our select. And if we make changes to our switch, we see that being referenced and you can see the reference line here that is going into the base connecting to the select that is referencing that switch top. Awesome. Let's say you want to continue to add to this switcher that we've made. Let's right click on our switcher and add an HSV adjust. This HSV adjust has this hue offset parameter that we can change to change the hue. And we'll note here that our select isn't changing. And that's because we are referencing the switch. We could of course drag this HSV adjust onto that top parameter again, and then we would see these changes. But as is the nature of post process and the creative process, you may want to add some additional adjustments. Adding a null top at the end of this chain will actually allow for more flexibility. So let's right click on our HSV adjust and add a null top. This null top has no effect on our image, but it is an instance of the final top in this chain. And what we can do is let's move it over to the right here and then drag it into our top parameter on our select. This will allow us to insert operators here without having to change that final operator reference on our select. We can right click here and add a edge top. Now that we have our edge top, we're seeing those changes in our select. Let's go ahead now and change comp over input. Let's toggle that on. So we're compositing our inputs. And now on our switch, we can go ahead and change this index and we'll see our changes propagate to our select top. So really what this does is it gives us a lot more flexibility when we're adjusting and routing our content inside of touch designer.